Hey everyone, welcome back to Six Sister Stuff. Today I am making my grandma's goulash. So my name is Kristen Hills and every Sunday my sisters and I, we share Instant Pot recipes with you guys. So today I'm showing you how to make my grandma's goulash. Now this recipe is funny because growing up, whenever my mom left town, this was the recipe my dad would make. I think it might be the only recipe he knew how to make but it brings back so many memories of my dad cooking in the kitchen. I thought I would kind of turn it around a little bit, make it in the Instant Pot, and make it so you guys can enjoy it too. All right, you guys are ready? Let's get cooking. All right, so on your Instant Pot, you're gonna push the saute button. There we go. Once it starts heating up, you're gonna add one pound of ground beef into it. So just gonna dump that in. Whoop, not that part. All right, and then I'm also gonna add one onion that we've chopped up into pretty small pieces. Just gonna throw that in with it. Next, I'm gonna take my lovely chopster. Now, I've talked about my chopster quite often, so if you haven't seen this yet, I'll put a link down below in the description. It is my most favorite, probably one of my most favorite tools in the whole kitchen. So it just breaks up your meat so easily as you cook. All right, so once your meat is cooked pretty well, like it's almost all brown and your onions are getting a little bit tender, now it's time to add everything else in. So, okay, so first we're gonna add just one green pepper in there. Then we're gonna start adding in some of the sauces. So first we're gonna do like, this is 29 ounces of tomato sauce. Now this seems like a lot of sauce, but just trust me on this one, it's, it's gonna be good. So we have 29 ounces of that. Then we have two cans of diced tomatoes. We're gonna leave all the liquid in these two. Then we have one can of corn. Again, we're just gonna leave the liquid in because we're gonna cook our noodles in this at the same time. Okay, then for some of our seasonings and sauces, we have half a cup of brown sugar. Now this is the secret. This is what makes it grandma's goulash is the brown sugar in it. So then we're gonna add three tablespoons of soy sauce and then one tablespoon of Worcestershire sauce. Then we're just gonna mix it really well. Now we're getting pretty full. So if you have an eight quart Instant Pot, I would highly suggest cooking it in the eight quart, but we're gonna, we're gonna see how this goes. Next we have one pound of elbow macaroni. Now I'm only gonna do half the box because I'm nervous that it's too full. So if you, you could do the whole box if you had an eight quart, but half the box, so just a half a pound, if you're gonna do just a six quart. So we're gonna dump in our macaroni. There we go. And then we're gonna add about a cup of water. So we need that water in there so that so one, it will pressurize, and two, we'll get our noodles all cooked. All right, I think we're ready. Okay, so you're gonna make sure the lid is on all the way. Make sure this little knob is turned to sealing, not venting. Then you're gonna push the pressure cook button. Because we have to cook those noodles, we need to go to four minutes. So we're gonna go, here we go. <laughs> we're at 50, so we gotta go down quite a ways. And because our hamburger is already cooked, you really just have to cook it for the amount of time that the noodles cook. So four minutes, once you set the timer, you can just walk away. All right, so now that the timer is done, it's been sitting here for about seven minutes or so, we're gonna turn this little knob to venting. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Okay, now that all the pressure's out, you can open the lid safely. Oh my gosh, this looks so good. <laughs> I don't know if you guys can see this, but yes, I am excited. I think my husband will be excited for this one. All right, so we're just gonna pour some into this bowl here so you can see it. Now, if you wanna add a little bit of salt and pepper, that's great. I didn't add a ton of seasoning, but it really doesn't need a lot because it has a lot of flavor in there. And then if you wanna put a little bit of cheese on top, serve it just like that with your kids and they will love it. All right, you guys, if you want more easy Instant Pot recipes, you can, you can check out this video right up there. And we will see you guys next week. Bye.